Well, I think um, China, as the border opens up, the economy will grow back. There is a pent-up demand there. There is a necessity. And as China opens up and the economy continues to grow, um, recovering from the last two, three years, Hong Kong will definitely benefit from that as well. With, close, uh, with the closed border for the last three years, there has not been a lot of uh, exchanges, capital, and so on. And I think now we have already seen some turning around. Uh, for Hong Kong as a whole, our market, of course, had some setback in 2022. 2022 was a challenging year for many of us. Uh, but we've seen that the second half of 2022, our IPO uh, was uh, four times uh, the amount raised of the first half. And the number of listed companies doubled those of the first half. We are seeing, seeing a turning around. And as China, China just opened up not that long ago, but as it opened, we would anticipate much more capital flow and therefore, you know, the stimulating financial activities. We seem to be seeing a pivot and a turn away mm -hmm. from the previous policies pursued yes. in Beijing. And I think you have a close enough relationship with the central government that you could give us some insights here. Are we going to see a broad shift in policy to the private sector as well? Because we're obviously moving away from COVID zero. Right. There is a reopening process going on. Yeah. You're also a non-exec on the board of Ant. And we know the technology sector has had a particularly hard time mm -hmm. in China because of policy mm -hmm. uncertainty and some of the actions taken right. by the central government. Is that going to change? Well, I have no insight whatsoever. But and from my, my point of view, as uh, someone practicing financially in Hong Kong and on the board of end as well, um, I can see that the government is gradually, there's positive sign of policy relaxation. Um, the, you know, the, the tax sector's re, uh, reform is almost complete, and this is what the central government said. And with that, I think the sentiment towards the tax sector will come back. And that is usually a very strong signal and very strong driver as well for the growth. And Hong Kong benefits from that, and as we are now, you know, a major center, fundraising center for new economy companies, and that would include all the tech companies as well. And yet, Laura, other countries want mm -hmm. a piece of that pie that Hong Kong used to guard so yes. jealously as well. Not, not only the, the, the other major powerhouses, New York, London, but also regionally Singapore and elsewhere yes. as well. What has Hong Kong got now that those other nations and those other stock exchanges haven't got? Well, I think um, it is what we had in the past. What had made that strong is that we have the Chinese mainland as our anchor. Uh, it will always be pro providing us with a lots of investor capital and potential issuers. At the same time, we face international and all the, um, the, the, the international standard that we have, um, the rules and th that give people confidence in our market, you know, the clear uh, uh, reform that we undertake in terms of the market reform. Mm -hmm. And everything that we do with the market, we consult the market. We consult participants, market practitioners. And so whatever we do has market support. And that is what gives investor confidence in the Hong Kong market. And on that, we leverage our China strength. And I think the two is quite a strong combination.